to another 3ds max tutorial uh, we're going to be continuing it off from basic user interface so we haven't learned anything too much yet but we're going to get comfortable with um, altering and moving objects in a 3d space so open up 3ds max and this is what you should be greeted with uh, we're going to go right into the create geometry standard primitives right here and we're going to make a box and if you're completely hearing all this as a foreign language, you should go watch that basic user interface tutorial. But basically, that's all you gotta do is not make this box, right click to get out of that. And if you remember from that basic user interface tutorial, W is the hotkey for move. And when you hit W or click move up here, you're gonna be seeing this uh, three dimensional move tool in the perspective viewport. In the front viewport, you're going to be seeing uh, only the Y and X. In the top, where you're looking top down, you're only going to see the Y and X as well. Basically, when you click it, it's always going to be Y and X because you're only looking at two dimensions in these orthographic viewports. But in this 3D one, we can click and hold on the Z and move this shape up and down. We can click and hold on Y, move it left and right, and click and hold on X and move it in and out. Uh, if we click on this little square that connects the Y and the X, we can move it uh, along both at the same time. Similarly, we can move it on both Z and the X, and the Y and the X. For precision, movements you will probably want to use the top left and front viewports but for just fooling around like what we're doing that's how you use the move tool hold press e on your keyboard or click on rotate and you'll be greeted with the rotate tool again there's three axes to work with and in these there are two and the outside and here two in the outside, here two in the outside. Again, we're going to be playing with this, so we can move it along the x-axis. If we click and hold on that red ribbon. And when you're in the perspective, what happens is you get weird numbers like minus 22.09. So it doesn't matter. Whatever you do, just right, just finish up and click undo or control Z and go to your front viewport and click on that same x-axis. It will always be in increments of 0.5. You can change this in the options, but this will be standard for most. And so again, just like moving, if you want to be precise with your rotations, you shouldn't be using perspective. You should be using an orthographic viewport. So set it to whatever random rotation you want, and then toy around in the perspective viewport with the y-axis and the z-axis. Once you have it somewhere that you like, um, press R on your keypad, and that will do the uniform scale. And if you click in the middle on the perspective, it increases everything uniformly. And this is actually the only tool that is best used in perspective if you want to make it bigger in every way at the same time. For the other viewports, you can just make it longer, skinnier, taller and if now our object is too big to see the whole object click in your any viewport and scroll back on the mouse wheel and that will make you zoom out and scrolling in will make you zoom in similarly you can do that with this perspective and this one and the front viewport so in the top you can make the adjustment that you want. If you want it to look like this, who knows? Now we're back to kind of what we looked like before. And another tool right now is see how it was kind of off to the side. We don't want to just zoom out because it will be off center. If you click and hold your mouse wheel and drag, you can see this little hand up here. And we can drag around. Now that we've got a pretty good understanding of how to manipulate a 3D object. You could toy around with other shapes like the torus, which is donut shape, the hoop shape, 
and we can do some cool things with that. We could rotate it like this and then move it into our um, cube, zoom out here. And if you go down here to the viewport controls, this will let you uh, rotate on an arc around your selected arc object. And if you click and hold this, you can get the same thing, except this one is around uh, just where you're looking at. And this one is around a third thing. This button zooms in every single, the current viewport, viewport into the thing that you're selected. This one zooms everything into the current selection. And you can also do that with uh, just the normal field and the normal field for that. So once you have a cool shape, you might want to try pressing F9, which if you remember from the user interface tutorial is cool. So just press on that and you can see this um, better render of your objects. And it looks to be like one object. It's cool stuff. And that's how you use the move, rotate, and scale commands in 3ds Max. So I hope you're getting more comfortable with using basic tools and continue to watch these tutorials. Thanks.